The artists of the Okanagan Comic Arts Association are indeed artists, deeply devoted to their craft. Getting together is yet another chance to draw. It's also a way they foster and support one another as they pursue their chosen form of expressive art. It started when my dad took me into a comic book store when I was like 12. As a little kid, I want, always wanted to be a comic artist. I just saw all the posters when I walked in and I was like, okay, this is it. I kind of abandoned it as I got older. And then just a couple years ago, I started doodling friends and things like that and situations we had been in in the past. I think some people feel it's easy, and I found when I started I was in way over my head. I had no idea what I was getting into. I think about it almost all the time, you know, to my wife's annoyance. Usually everything for me is about the comic, you know, and I eat, sleep, and draw, I guess. I'm known as a very quiet person, so I think of when I'm drawing comics, it's like I can kind of just explode on the page sort of thing. It's like an internal scream, I guess. I think just putting out these warped ideas that I come up with in my head and seeing them kind of come to life. If I can entertain myself, I hope I can entertain a couple other people. Pretty, pretty much it. A lot of the characters are, I guess, combinations of a few of my friends. I've had to ask a few people permission. Can I tell this story, that, you know, this little slightly embarrassing story about back in the past? And they've all been pretty good about it. A lot of it for me, it's through personal experience. It's through my stories that I hear. A lot of it's inspired by other things that I've read or movies that I've watched or just characters who I would love and adore. They have varying degrees of full comic book completion among them and their own reasons to keep going at it in what many consider a tough industry to break into. I measure it more as a, a goal that I've reached and you know as I reach one goal I keep setting more and more. The current one is to get my next issue done and hopefully put together some work to submit to some companies in the future, whether I stay doing this or something completely different. Really just finishing one, and then being able to see the improvement midway through, or kind of finishing it and thinking, you know, I'm, I'm happy with this, I want people to see this. That's the real kind of thrill for me, and it's just that feeling of achievement when I finish a page every time, it's like, I did it. <laughs> An interesting side note in regards to the Okanagan Comic Arts Association, they believe in working with schools and libraries to, in their own words, crack open the potential comics have for young and developing minds. And who knows, maybe among these folks, the next generation of Riverdale High students will be written or drawn. From Kelowna, I'm Tammy Williams for Shaw.